Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we arrived back in Elvenia, specifically the town of Iski. We have learned that Tessera is here, so we're going to visit her as well as Sam and Paneka. Sam! Hey Sam! You around here? I wonder if we left with the village again. No, I wonder if he left the village again at some point since we last saw him. Is that girl Alinia, who he had left in charge of Paneka, still here then? Yes. Oh! It is our human friends from the other world! What brings you all to the Elven City? Hi, Alinia. We're just stopping by to see old man Paneka. No need to fill you in on the evil dangers we have been trying to survive out there since our last stop by this house as well. Ah, I was saying no more then, sirs. I was just coming downstairs to tend to some things down here for a while. It was only right that I leave the dear man alone with the two grandchildren that have not been in the same room together with him in many long months. Mr. Sarah is home now, you see. How did they not hear us shouting? She is? Thanks, Serena. Miss Tessera is safe, then. Apparently, this scene does not know that we t were told by somebody outside that she was here. Look, we're sorry to bother them at a time like this, Alenia, but do you think they would mind if we stepped upstairs for just a moment? It is really important. Alenia is taken by surprise. Um... Sure. If there is some sense of urgency to your visit, then surely the three will be happy to oblige. Please go on up. Cool. Thanks, Alina. And this is automatic. Big Brother! Lynn! Uri! You're all back! Hey, Sam. What's up? Tessera, you're here! Tessera smiles sadly. I am glad that you all are still alive and looking well. But then, even if it had come to escaping the clutches of an army of bloodthirsty ogres, I should have known there was no reason for me to worry about you. It's just like I told you, sis. Even after what you said had happened to them at the lake, nothing can stop the heroes of Alvinia! Giggle. Earth children, cough. It has been quite a while. I have not seen you all since the day you were going to Kalinka for the first time, if I recall. It must have been at least seven or eight weeks ago. Well, for me, it's been three months. And you must be Harrison. It is a relief to see you as a human being rather than the product of a monster's evil curse, I must say. Oh wait, to Kalinka. Two months. Yes, I owe you my thanks as well for having led us to the place that brought my salvation, old man. What my grandson told me he had experienced on his journey to Meadows with you all seems to have been the most observant. I can tell you, I can tell that you four have changed much since having come to this world. I had heard that you were successful in saving Kalinka from Grandis Marwin. How greatly elated I was to know this. Mr. Sarah, was it by chance from another Lunas Elber Knight that you had known about our saving the Kalinkans from Grandis? To Sarah's surprise, what? Because I think it is Lynn who suspected all along that you had gotten yourself into such trouble simply for our sakes. Even as we had been sitting quietly by the fireside in the winter's home, looking after Lyle and Sarah in those days. He guessed right, to Sarah. Lelia is at peace now, but elsewhere you had been fighting a battle of your own without any regard for yourself. Haven't you? Tessera looks down. I... 
Um. Indeed, Sam was perceptive of the change in each of your hearts. Now you have become sensitive to the troubles of a friend from far away who you could not have possibly known was in danger. Well, kinda. Lin's so-called doppelganger kind of spilled the beans that Tessera was in danger. Tessera is most fortunate to have human friends like you all. Grandfather, please. Sister may not wish to speak of what she has gone through a second time. Look, it doesn't really matter. If it is a source of embarrassment or emotional distress for you, then you do not have to say any more. Yeah, we're just glad to know that you seem to be okay, Tess. Whatever it was you went through, as long as you are safe now, nothing else matters. We'll just be going now. Harrison softly says with a half smile, See you all around. Good thing Wraith was wrong, I guess, huh? Taz, it has been a while since I last heard one of my friends call me by that name which I was so fond of. Please wait. What is it, Tessera? I... I realize that you all must be going to face your greatest trial now against the Lord of Darkness himself, and so much more must be burdening your hearts than to heed this foolish pointy-eared maiden, but... Will you four dear humans please be so kind as to stay for a while and listen with open hearts to the worries of one troubled soul such as myself? To Sarah. Admonishing? Prian admonishingly says, Remember, it takes just as noble a heart to show kindness to one person as it does to hundreds. I know. Of course we'll stay to Sarah. Otherwise, why would we have even bothered to come looking for you in the first place? To Sarah has a relieved smile. Yes, I know. And so I finally gained the courage to cast the Burst Rondo spell on Elowin's vile army of lifeless dolls that only he would dare to call elves. And most of the hellish golems were broken in the blast. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about, but it sounds awesome and I wish we had seen it. I then fled back to Lelia, with Vern relentlessly chasing me in murderous rage all of the way. So much hatred had that man had held for me for my betrayal that he pursued me for hundreds of miles from the Ethan region back to Lelia. The only time I had ever managed to lose him was in Meadows, whereupon Vern had come close enough to kill me at last. Oh wow, that was in Meadows. I recognize it now, thinking about it. However, I was saved by the, la by the forest maidens just seconds before my life was ended. My heart is grieved to have been forced to do this, betraying someone's faith in me and casting such horrible magic for the purpose of destroying what one made with his own hands, even if they were creatures that were not truly alive, but still, I just could not stand by all or stand by and allow Eliwin to destroy two entire races of Elvenia. No demon who has come from the darkest depths of the universe to this world unwelcome shall raise his hand against another helpless Elvenia life. This time, the elf girl fights back. I do not want to, but I must. It is amazing that even the combined strength of yourself and those four dear maidens could stand up to someone like that treacherous elf magician, Mr. Sarah. We would have been beside ourselves with worry had we known. You are indeed a brave woman. 
So, you pretended to be Vern's willing servant in order to foil his plan to use an army of magically created dolls in the likeness of elves to attack Sibylon. We get it now, Tess. No wonder your heart seems as mixed up as it is about whether that you, what you did was right or not. But we're right on your side, if that helps. To say her lowers her head. Thank you, sir. It is clear now what that man's intentions were from the beginning. And here, Tessera raises a hand to her flushed face, desperately worried for what might happen in the fu near future. This is all connected to what the Lord of Darkness knew of the Holy Priestess's last act of mercy she was trying to fulfill before she passed away. All four heroes remain silent, knowing well of the Allegra family's innocence of why Lisa Winters truly died. Tessera continues, If the dwarves and the demi-humans who cower in fear of everything that lies outside of Ferris Dahl but themselves are maliciously attacked from the north by strangers who resemble the elven race, then... The Elvenians will all inevitably fulfill the Dark Lord's abominable will for him by turning to on each other. We'll never be reunited against the only... Reunited or united? I, I've missed it. Against the only true enemy of this world this way, as Serena's children begin to falsely accuse each other of murder. Sigh. That is indeed quite the plot. I do remember Boles was trying to be in peace talks with another race. This is probably related. How fortunate that, in the one time you four were not around to protect her, Sis was able to take care of herself. Laugh. And that is not all. Even Grandfather... Vern confronted me in this very room three nights ago, shortly before my sweet granddaughter stumbled wearily through the gates of this village, half-conscious and with her baskets, a uh, basket of herbs, all wilted and smothered, still draped halfway over her arm as always. Apparently the spell she and the forest maidens had cast in order to narrowly escape Vern's clutches, and the sixty miles she had to traverse from meadows to Iski in the ensuing thunderstorm had taken a severe toll on her. But luckily, Vern wasn't looking much better when he appeared in the room, so I assume he came here immediately after he had confronted Tessera in the meadows forest. And you're still alive, Pan Panaka? Obviously, the true reason that you four or any Alvinian who has ever been confronted by a monster are still alive is that the darkness has not expected us to stand up to it. The world's enemies count on our innate fear of them making us incapable of fighting back in any way. That is why Sam was able to save you all from that beast on Meadows Road a month ago. That is why Vern could not take the life of my granddaughter, even after she dared to betray him. And why even an old elf afflicted with tuberculosis, like myself, does not lie an unidentified corpse in this bed after a Lunas Uru knight came to pay him a visit. Vern appeared before me where you four now stand and swore to me that he would have Tessera's life the next time he found her, and even demanded that I hand my own granddaughter over to him if she were to come running home after escaping him in meadows, or else he would slay me also. And of course, as you can see, I refused. I would sooner die myself than give up a precious girl like Tessera to that loathsome else mercy. Now that she is finally home, I will protect her from him as I had promised, no matter what. Oh, Grandfather. Then... 
I swore to Elewind that I would use every last ounce of magical power necessary to take him down if he tried to hurt her. Considering who I was dealing with, one would naturally think that my threat would have been in complete vain, but in the end, he simply exchanged angry words with me about our sordid past, and then vanished from the room without another word. Our courage is only remaining def- Yeah, our courage is our only remaining defense against evil, it seems. And our faith. It is what it now means to be a creature of Alvenia. Yes, that is true, my dear goddess of love, Prian. That is most true. Sorted past, eh? I figured the principles of irony would eventually reveal to us that a few of our Alvinian friends once knew of the Lunas Elru Knights on a personal level. But I guess that is not a story to regale us youngsters with as we sit around a roaring fire right now, is it, old man? I fear not, son. To recall such bitter memories is a bit too much for this tired old heart of mine at the moment. Cough. It has turned out to be quite an adventure for all of us since the day that Uri and the rest stumbled into our world, hasn't it, Grandfather Sis? Paneka has a weak la laugh. Heh. <laughs> Cough. It has, grandson. It has. We're all in this struggle against the darkness now, aren't we? My friends, there is one more selfish request that this hopeless girl elf girl must make of you all, and that is Yes, Mr. Mr. Sarah, what is it? To, to not only save Elbl Sebelhan, but she gathers her breath, to allow me to come with you myself, so that I too may fight this evil with you and stand against what has become my worst fear. You mean Vern? Tessera says with a sad sigh. No. I have been made to fear that man, that much is true, but I meant the side of my heart that I have been unwilling to face ever since the day of the battle at Puskis Lake when I have first come to realize that it exists. And that is the side of my heart that has the capacity to bring harm to another, a heart that does not love but holds the darkness of betrayal and hatred. After what I had done, throwing myself into certain danger like that in order to bring grievous harm to another's wicked schemes, I no longer felt like Tessera the gentle elf maiden with the rose in her hair who brings cheer to those who she cares for as a nurse with her hopeful smile, but Tessera the killer. It frightens me, really. Well then, guys, what do you think? What else can I expect? Yes, Tessera, if that is what you honestly want, then please come with us in our journey to save the dwarf and demi-human races from Vern and his slimy horde of dark elves. We'll take this one on to, we'll take this one on together with a silly rose-wearing elven nursemaid this time, right? And also, by inviting you to come with us, we'll help you to discover that the part of your heart that is the so-called killer only exists in your naive or reactive imagination, Tess. Tessera claps her hands together in sincere gratitude. Thank you all, my friends. So much. I promise I will do my very best to support you. Leave it to Uri, huh? We certainly couldn't over ever experience a tender moment between Earthling and Alvinian without his smart mouth bringing its own charm to lift a hapless girl's spirit, could we? You 
are certain of this, granddaughter? Yes, grandfather, I must. It is my heart that I am to face in this battle, after all. I'll... I will miss you, sister. Tessera consolingly says, Ah, my dear little brother. Indeed, I regret leaving you yet again. But, once this is all... Once this is over, your loving sister shall be home again. And this time, it will be forever. Granddaughter, only you yourself can know when such a journey for you will end, but we trust that with these four at your side, you will one day come back to us safe and sound. And as the same sweet little harmless Tessera that we all know you to be, there will be no blood on your hands when you return home, as you might fear. Of that I am certain. We'll look after her, old man. Neither you or Sam need worry at all. Farewell, little brother, dear grandfather. When you see me enter through the gates of this village again, I am certain that it will be beneath a sky over which the goddess of fate holds a sw sway, and not the almighty dragon. Goodbye, sis. I won't worry or pray to you to come back safely this time, because I already know that you will. I will be waiting for you when you come back for all five of Elvinia's heroes. Sarah with, says with a smile, Yes, your big sister will prove herself worthy of being as much of a hero to you as these four must be. Earth children, beloved daughters of Serena who faithfully guide them, let us go. Tessera joined! That's kind of interesting, actually. He, he, we've already got four party members, and now we got a fifth party member. Actually, what makes this really interesting is... The situation with our four heroes being brought up and talked about as these four people who are so much stronger than everybody else in Elvania, and yet here we have another person that is joining us, somebody from Elvania. Is she going to be weak? Heck no! Time and time again in this adventure, the people of Elvania have proven themselves to actually be very capable fighters, so... I feel like the whole thing about our heroes being so much better than everybody else was kind of overplayed a little bit. This is still cool, though. Now that you have access to more than four party members, you are able to change the active party as you see fit by going to the Lunasphere, accessible by the lunar gates that are found all around both Earth and Elvenia. Although you can have only four heroes in your party at one time, it is assumed that all are present for the story as it unfolds.